What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Megan and I'm back again with another video. And in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about Aerial Wizard. Now by any chance that you have a build that has very high ducking or any kind of lob threat kind of build, this badge right here is a must. If the angle's right and the timing is perfectly, you're gonna be getting a putback dunk 80% of the time. And if it's a body between you and that rim, you're going to be getting a contact animation with it. In the previous 2Ks, you probably remember the badge that we had putback king or putback boss. And then we also had another badge, lob city finisher. This is just putback king and lob city finisher all into one. You're gonna get so many putback dunks, so many clips, so many contact dunks, everything off of this badge alone. I have a build that can get the badge on Hall of Fame, and as you can see, I get so many putback dunks. Literally, when someone on my team is shooting the ball, I automatically try to position myself to go for a putback every single time. I do not rebound with triangle. I literally just rebound with square because 80% of the time, I'm going to get it, and it's going to be a putback dunk. And having a beard with very high finishing, that's just going to help you get more contact dunk clips, like you get putback contact dunks, and it's going to help you finish those crazy contact lob animations. And especially if someone is throwing a lob through traffic, you can finish those lobs a lot more when you have, when you have your aerial wizard badge fully maxed out. Now, let's say, for instance, you're struggling with timing lobs or you don't know how to catch lobs or you don't know exactly how to trigger putback dunks right let's talk about it all right so for putback dunks in particular let's talk about that first for putback dunks everything to consider the tier level of your area wizard badge your dunk rating and your offensive rebound rating now you can still get putback animations with having a low rebound it's all about timing and positioning, but if you do have a higher officer rebound, like for example, my build, I have a 70 officer rebound on this build that you see in the video. And of course, you can't forget about your vertical attribute rating, anything dealing with dunking and stuff like that. Of course, vertical is gonna come into play. So for this clip right here, I want you guys to pay attention to the angle that I'm running at. Trying to get a putback dunk 100% of the time is going to be hard because you have to try to guess and determine which way the offensive rebound is going to go. In this clip in particular, the shooter was coming from, they were shooting the ball out of like the right corner and it bounced off the left side of the rim and I was running straight down the middle and I was able to catch it and get a crazy putback animation to finish it off. That doesn't always happen. Say if I was also running from the right, thinking that the ball was gonna bounce towards the right side and I would totally miss that put back dunk animation. So it's all about you guessing and trying to determine where that offensive rebound is going to go. Now in this clip right here, I'm gonna be getting a contact put back dunk animation. All right, the shooter is shooting from the right side. The ball is gonna bounce off the left side of the rim and you see my player running at an angle coming towards the left it's a body in between me and the rim but hey 96 driving dunk 86 vert hall of fame area wizard gold posterizer have no fear i'm coming through i see red I'm gonna finish it every time if i put my hands on it in a put back dunk animation i'm finishing that it's over with Next clip coming up is going to be a lob animation, a contact lob animation. As you can see, he's throwing it. The defender is getting forced into this lob animation. A lot of people still struggle with catching lobs, and I don't understand because the green window for lobs is huge, and you have so much time to get it within that little circle. All right, here go some more clips. Look how big the circle is. All you have to do is get it in that green window. The green window for lobs is huge. It's the biggest green window in the game. I promise. Just take your time and pay attention to the little circle. You're gonna dunk it 90% of the time. You're gonna finish that. 
ever since 2k introduced the lob meter i don't understand how people are struggling with that man i really don't you don't even have to look at it half the time just press square and you're gonna get it you're gonna finish it but that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and don't forget to hit that notifications bell. Please make sure you're making use of your Aerial Wizard badge, man. If you got a Duncan build, go crazy with the Aerial Wizard badge. It's hard to stop, it's hard to defend. Lobs are still OP. Very much so OP. Take advantage of it, man.